everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here back at where Tate's Pier is going to be and I'm waving around my leaf armor because I have absolutely nowhere to put it because we have been digging around for so many things trying to make space. Oh gosh. All right, here we go. Trying to make space so that we can get Tate's bait shop put in. And oh my goodness, the ideas you guys have had have just been pouring in left and right and I am so impressed. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Where's Tate? Lily, where's Tate? Where's Tate? Tate, there you are! Tate, there you are, buddy! You would be so proud, my little one. So proud because people have come up with so many amazing ideas. A lot of you guys are really, really excited about the fact that the Tate and Tackle, and the name has just stuck, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be the Tate and Tackle. But a lot of you guys love the Tate and Tackle air like is going to look out on the lake right here. So I'm very, very excited to get a little bit of a window installed, probably right along this front, right below the water's edge. And that way we can look out and we can hopefully see lots of fish. We might even make the lake a little bit deeper over here so we can see tons of little fish and the swans when they're swimming around. Oh, that'll just be so cool. What's that? What's that? Oh, there's floating bubbles over there. That is so fun. So fun. All right. But yes, so thank you guys. You are so excited about the fact that we are starting to build our piers and build everything block by block again. And it has been amazing because all of the ideas, that is what makes Zoo Crafting so amazing, are your guys' ideas contributing to the entire world. And speaking of contributing to the entire world, we have a couple new NPCs to see today. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. There's some really awesome ones. I'm very thrilled to introduce you guys to them in just a little bit and when I was popping by making sure we had one of our new NPCs all happily settled in I noticed we had some mail mail and it is our very special Saturday episode which means we're together for an entire hour of adventure so hopefully we'll be able to get a lot done today and if I seem a little bit oh yeah and look the elephant gardener Ashlyn is singing again trying to get the lilies to grow that is so fun we are really really bringing the world to life I am so excited but also if if I seem a little bit distracted or silly today, guys, I am sorry. I have got a bad fever and I am, I am struggling on because I was sitting there and I was like, no, no, my daily zoo crafting. I don't want to give up. So if I do seem a little bit repetitive or a little bit silly, Alia, it is 100% because I have a fever. Mom has a little fever, but don't you worry, Alia. Let's go ahead and get her some ostrich, actually. There we go. Everybody looks like they're ready for some new food. Tate, I would actually love to spend some time doing a little bit of fishing with you guys. And speaking of fishing, you guys have come up with some great suggestions for what to give Alex as presents. So catnip, um, some cat toys, cat scratching post, and a whole bunch of fish, which Tate has really helped us with. Given to Alex to be able to feed all of his wild cats at his La Paz Animal Sanctuary sounds like some fantastic ideas. So usually on our Saturday special, because we've gotten a whole hour together. I try to go over and spend a little bit of time visiting our friends. So we'll have to see if we'll be able to pull that off today or not, Lily. But I also want to try to get a little bit of progress done because the faster we get this done, the sooner we can have Dr. Nami, the sooner we can have Dr. Nami, and the sooner we can get fish. The sooner we get fish, the sooner we finish the fish exhibit, the sooner we finish the river exhibit for the Asian zone, the sooner we can get started on adding in new exhibits like cougars or foxes or raccoons or, or maybe squirrels. We could do really cute little squid exhibits or maybe we'll start adding in um, like tiger babies. We could see about having tiger babies or timber wolves. There's so many things. Echidnas even. I really love echidnas. If you guys don't know what an echidna is, it's adorable. You should look it up. And from all of the ideas that you guys have given me, I have a new idea for how we are going to do the layout of the Tate and Tackle, which is just oh, that name. I just love it. Alliteration is one of my favorite things. And so because we are a zoo, I'm going to try to combine the educational with the uh, the shops. And a lot of you think that having a little eatery over here, like just a tiny little eatery where you can come and sit down and you can look out at the whole lake and just see it look really nice and see all the swans. A lot of you think that would be really nice. So I think something that would probably focus on cranberries maybe because there's a lot of things you can do with cranberries. In fact, there we go. There we go. So you can have cranberry juice, cranberry sauce, cranberry bar, cranberry jelly, cranberry sandwich. I'm pretty sure you can use it to make other things like berry chocolate, mince pie, fruit crumble, fruit bait. Uh, what else? Let's see. Fruit salad, uh, the cranberry sauce, but cranberry sauce 
with like, oh, grated berry. What can you do with grated berry? Make berry juice. So I was thinking it would be kind of fun to have maybe a watercress and cranberry and salad, maybe even a little bit of fish, a uh, little eatery shop that would be right over here, like a little cafe. And I really did love the name, the Fisher Dogs Table that so many of you guys suggested. So we might look at using the Fisher Dogs Table somehow. So that's another thing. But so eatery would kind of be over here. And then I was thinking going over here, and over here, maybe down in a hallway, would actually be kind of like a miniature fish museum where we could have all sorts of little fish tanks, just tiny ones, maybe like one, two, three, four, maybe even just two wide glass. And then behind it would be just like one or two specimens of fish from all of the tiny little small fish and everything else we can have. I wonder if there is a way to figure out how to add more textures to the Mo Creatures things. Because then we could have custom textured fish. <gasps> like the carrot fish! We should have a tiny little carrot fish exhibit like in here. And then a big carrot fish exhibit elsewhere. And there could be a little sign for the exhibits. Like this is like one, this is one example of a striped bass. You can see an entire exhibit over in that zone. This is a carrot fish. You can see an entire exhibit over in that zone. And then someone had a really great idea for selling the fishing rods by having invisible NPCs holding the fishing rods so that they can be kind of lined up and look really nice against a wall. And then you can interact like with a, a cash register or interact with a shelf or an NPC and be able to trade for the fishing rods. And I thought that was really cool too. So I'm really excited. And then downstairs, because the fishing rods, I think... Maybe we would sell over here, but I actually think we would sell the fishing rods down here. So you would come down the steps and we'd have the pretty little waterfall come on down. And then I was thinking about having kind of a, um, like uh, kind of a club area, like a fisherman's club area. The fisher dog's table could be down here and you could have a whole bunch of fishermen NPCs, fisher person NPCs, I really should say, who would all hang out down here and they would swap tall tales about the fish that they have managed to catch themselves. And they could talk about like their, their favorite catches, their best catches. They could brag about it. Down here is where we could keep the trophies from the competitions that we could have with our friends about like who caught the biggest fish and things like that. So I think that would be really fun too. I'm really looking forward to that. All right. You know what else I'm really looking forward to? Having some space in my backpacks. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'm actually going to make do 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 a little chest. Oh, and I can hear the sound of a gigantic. There we go. Crafter station, crafting station. I think I'll just go ahead and put it down over here for now. And I could hear the sound of a large hidden area somewhere nearby. So we might stumble on that pretty soon. Look at these pretty, uh, these are just so pretty. Zebra ore. What can we do with zebra ore? Make zebra blocks, which can make zebra slabs. Those would actually be really fun to decorate with, wouldn't they? Oh, like in the safari zone. Can you imagine using zebra ore and zebra slabs as like decorative pieces or building a statue out of them? Oh, that would be really fun, you guys. Can I turn it into like just brick apparently at the brick carver? So darn, I don't think I can make it into like some sort of pretty gem unless I hand cut it out of devincing the ideas. They're beginning to flow freely. Wonderful. All right, well, let's go ahead and gather up all this zebra ore because it looks cool. Also this pink stuff. I don't remember what it is, but I really like it because it's pretty and pink. And what is it again? Kunzite ore. Can I get gems from it? I'm kind of in the mood. Does, is it not used for anything? No. You, you don't do anything, it's just it's just pretty. It's just there to be pretty. That's fine, it can be pretty. All right, let's go ahead, we're gonna come over here. And one, two, I think that's all we need for now, maybe. Maybe. There's actually a lot of ores and a lot of things we're collecting here. All right, and there we go. And now we can just shove all of this in here and have a little bit of room to do our work. So we'll toss all of this there, wonderful. Now I don't have to haul it all around and feel like I'm tripping over a bazillion things. All right, and we'll empty these out too. And then I actually wanted to grab the oak planks. And before we get started showing off the awesome NPCs and going over to look at what mail has arrived for today, I wanted to try to put down the docks, just where I want to start putting the docks. Also, we probably need to head back home to eat some cake and get some food soon. I'm down to only volcano strawberry sorbet to eat. So we'll have to take care of that pretty soon. All right, puppies, you guys are going to need to start moving. All right, come on, Lily. Come on, Tate. All right, so here's the next question. Where are we going to put the dock? And so down here is gonna be the spot where you walk into the Tate and Tackle, and that'll be really fun. And I think the dock should come this way. 
So we're just going to put this the oak planks down for now to kind of mark where I want the dock to be. Even if I'm not 100 bazillion percent sure about where it's going to be at this point. All right, so here we're putting those little reeds down. And because some of you guys have asked, these reeds, which you can't collect, they're just kind of there for decorative pieces, are from the Better Foliage mod. And that is a really beautiful mod. It's what makes our trees puffy and makes the leaves fall. But you definitely need to have a very, very powerful computer to be able to run it, especially on a huge server like this. All right, hi, puppies. I know, what's mom doing? I need to go get some more of those planks I left on the little crafting station. It's so exciting to get things done. And I'm so excited with how patient you guys have been. Thank you so much. Because it can take a while to get things done. But you know what? That's part of the adventure we share together. All right, and let's jump up here. But yeah, I'm actually really excited, you guys, because this time next week, I am going to be off on an adventure to my sister's wedding, which is going to be really thrilling. So she's having her wedding next Friday, and I'm going to go and visit with her during then. Let's see. Maybe we'll have two. Ooh, Tate! What if we have the dock kind of sticking out like this, and then we have like trees, like willow trees lined up along the edges here, and then, oh dear, they're drowning. Oh, lovelies. Lovelies, why? Did you teleport to me? Ladies! Oh, geez, there you are. Lily, that was silly. What you doing, Lily? Here, sit down, Lily. All right, if you're going to be that way, Alia, you sit down. I'm glad they didn't drown too badly. These dogs know how to swim. I need to, like, do, do swimming classes for Pine and Iris so that they'll stop drowning on me. But what if we have the pier right here, and then we don't have it right here? Because, I mean, you could technically try to fish from here, but that wouldn't be any fun. But what if we have an archway instead? What if we built a custom archway of some kind so it looked really nice? Or maybe, Tate, we could put some custom willow trees. So it's like these big custom willow trees or maybe big custom birch trees because he's really, he reminds me more of a birch, you know what I mean, than a willow. But maybe if we have some custom archways with the birch trees and then like put down something on the ground over here and then it comes over and has the second half of the pier. I think the second half of the pier, I actually want to stick this direction, which is kind of a pity because all of these beautiful water plants are in the way, but we'll go ahead and move them. Also, look at all the water gardens. So many water gardens. Are the water gardens over there spreading? I don't know because they were on land, weren't they? Okay, we'll go check those out in a little bit and see if they've been spreading. But let's go ahead and move all of these plants really quickly. And then we'll try replanting them just so we know where Tate's Pier is going to be. And then I do have new NPCs to introduce you guys to, which is very exciting. Hello, Tate. Watch out, buddy. I'm gonna, I am gonna—I don't want to like trim your tail by accident. Oh, my shears just died. Well, we knew that was coming. We knew that was coming for quite a while now. All right, there's more cute little leaves right there. Look at these little leaf piles. What right do they have to be so cute? Oh, man. Oh, you know what we should do? We should definitely have an NPC at some point in the future where you can take oak leaves, like just piles of oak leaves, and turn them into leaf piles. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's like a bazillion different types of leaf piles. There's dead leaf piles. Um, let's see. And then there's like the brown leaves and the green leaves. So that makes a lot of sense if we actually would save all of those up and then you can turn in your oak leaves or other types of leaves to an NPC gardener or maybe like a maintenance person or just somebody running around and it turn and they turn them into the ground cover leaves that we could use in exhibits. That would be really fun. Oh gosh. Oh, and what's this? Leaf blade. Oh, that looks so cool. What is it made out of? Let me see. Oh, it's just, oh, I think it's an NPC item. Man, that's so cool. Maybe we'll be able, oh, hiccups. Maybe we'll be able to buy that one day. All right, so let's go ahead and put down where Tate's pier would go. I think right here, maybe right here. Hmm, what do you think, Tate? I kind of want it to line up with this one. All right, right here, right here. Yeah, like so. I think that would be the right way to line it up. And I'll put the plants down in just a minute. And we might actually dig this out and make it so water runs down this side. All right. And am I going to make the pier bigger? Like maybe it'll come over and go this way. But don't forget, we're going to have swans swimming around in here. So I don't want to like get in the way of where the swans are going to be. All right, Tate. Woo! A little bit too deep. And this pier doesn't need to be huge, but we just need to make it look really nice. So here's one half of it. 
And again, we might we'll probably put up like fancy, fancy railing and everything. It's gonna look nice. This is just to get an idea of where we're gonna have it. And I kind of do. I want it to go that way. I don't know. Do I want it to go this way? I think I want it a little bit bigger, especially on the big lake. Bloop. All right, under the water. Let's just put it this direction for a second and see what it looks like to do that. All right, and let's jump up here. Hmm. Hmm, not bad. It does make me want to... Nope, take it out from under there. I should have, I should have like a warning sign. Caution with your dogs. So the dogs don't drown under the water there. I kind of like that because then we can come over here and we can put down all of the little water plants that we picked up. And they can enjoy growing right here. The soft stem bulrush. And the European bull reed. There we go. There we go. Everybody can go back down. There you are. We'll get common, common reeds. And this thing right there. That's quite lovely. Tate! Oh gosh, he's doing it again. I'm going to have to have him sit down until his pier is done. Just from one end to the other, huh buddy? Well, he seems to approve. Tate seems to be enjoying his pier. I'm so glad. Tate, we've got a little bit of progress for you. So let's see, yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and dig out. Ooh, I really need to put this in the dishwasher before I lose it. We'll go ahead and dig this spot out so that we can have more water pouring against the edges. I think that would be well done. Oh, it's so fun to have all of these little projects to be able to focus on. All right, let's get some water really quickly. One, two, three. We'll fill up the edges. All right, right along here. There's that. There's that. Is this done now? Everything look good there? I think so. All right, so Tate's pier is slowly but surely coming together. It's going to be fun to try to make it look really nice. Let's scooch this little reed over. We definitely need probably the post to go under it. I think maybe I want to like swap this gravel out for some dirt. In fact, let's go ahead and do that really quickly. Just while we're here. I know it seems silly and I know we have a lot to see. But I just want to make this look a little nicer. So let me go ahead. All right, come here, come here, come here. All right, and then we'll put some dirt there. Good. All right, let's jump up. Come on, come on. All right, there we go. And I need a little water right there. All right. All right, Tate. I know puppies. I know we're going to go exploring in just a minute. Whoops. Well, that didn't do what I thought it would. I'm going to have to put water back over there. Oh, no, and I'm hungry. All right, so it seems like our appetites are what going to be pulling us away from our projects today. All right, there's that. Here's a little piece of dirt that I could probably use on something. If I could just get my hands on it. There we go. Is this all good? Did everything fill in okay? All right, and everything else filled in okay. And we can put down a little bit more dirt to try to make this area look nice. All right, so here's some ideas. I don't know if I like the shape of this pier. I think I want it to be maybe just straight. So maybe I should just make it go like straight this way and then you just fish it that direction. I think I may prefer that, but we'll have to see. But for now, guys, that is what we will do for this exact moment. We might come back to this in a little while, but I'm going to go introduce you guys to the new NPCs because I'm so excited to share them with you. Also, we're going to come over and let's do a little work cleaning up all of these berry bushes. <gasps> Look at all the yummy berries. We might be able to make these blackberries into something yummy to eat. Because these berry bushes have clearly grown completely out of control. <laughs> They're going all over the place. And they do that. I love that about Pam's gardens. Is the wild gardens really will go wild. And you have to go through and harvest them up and make sure that they don't just take over all of your land. Alright, so let's head across the lily pad bridge. Because the very first NPC we are looking at today is a old friend one of our old npcs from the old world who i have added back in and she is actually the former cougar keeper so let's go ahead this way oh you can already see her here she is right over here next to the deer it's keeper adelaide so welcome back keeper adelaide keeper adelaide was one of the first npcs added back in the old old world and normally what we do when we add in npcs is either the donations are internships and they're immediately added in asap or we do raffles where you can like put a comment in a video where we do the coining some jobs videos and a random generator will select the keepers and Adelaide 
it was selected a very long time ago and she's got the cute little ears look at the cute little ears but she is not currently the cougar keeper because we have no cougars but it definitely is something we're gonna add back in oh and look it's redwood redwood our red wolf he's looking so majestic over there wow look at you redwood you're looking awesome but we currently don't have a cougar, even though I'm thinking about adding one in over there, maybe next to where I wanted to put the grizzly bear or the black bear. Um, not right next to each other, you know, give them a little bit of elbow room, but I've got some ideas for that section. But Adelaide is currently watching over, or Adelaide, I like, uh, yeah, Adelaide, I got that right. <laughs> There's so many A names around here lately, it's really fun. She is currently watching over our white-tailed deer exhibit. So these are the white-tailed deer. They're absolutely adorable. Because they are mo creatures white tail deer, they don't really move around very much. They just kind of spin around in place. It's just a mo creatures thing, but there's a lot of them. And we gave them this really beautiful exhibit. I actually really love it. It's easier to see if you don't have the better foliage mod, but oh gosh, it's so pretty. Look at this one deer. This deer just has like all of the berries in the world to eat right now. It's amazing. But it is probably one of the most well-decorated areas, in my opinion, in the zoo, just for the plants, for the mix of plants, for the beautiful tranquil waterfall in the background, for the way you can use these beautiful carpenters' blocks and create lovely little stones with a bit of moss on them. For the birds, there's American goldfinches that will hang out up in the trees up there, and a little bird feeder, which is really, really nice. Just an extra little touch. I love details. I love the detail touch. But they also have these huge gardens, and so if we come up and we talk to Adelaide, then she will actually talk about those gardens because that is what she does. She actually works very hard to control the gardens. And normally you would think white-tailed deer, which in the United States just destroy gardens. I lost one of my best gardens I ever had the night before I was going to go out and do a massive harvest. I had giant, giant basil bushes. I had so many strawberries, tomatoes, corn, Oh gosh, like multiple types of tomatoes, heirlooms, tomatoes. We had so much out there. And that night our dog went wild and we went out the next morning and the entire garden had been raised, raised till there was nothing left, just little nubs on the ground. So normally if you have white tailed deer in an area, keeping them out of your garden is the struggle. But in our world, we have a really great relationship with nature and the gardens propagate wildly. Look at them. Look at how many there are. Oh, look at the little fawn. They're like, ah, run away, hide in the grass. That brings a whole new meaning to hiding in the grass as a little fawn. But yeah, if you um, are in our world, they have way too many gardens. So if you come over and talk to Adelaide, she will actually ask you for your help in clearing the gardens out. And so you can go and break the gardens. You don't want to break all of them, mind you. You want to leave some for the deer to eat and some to propagate for the future. And then you can trade what you've gathered up to her for zookeeper experience points. Kind of like what we have from clearing off those berry bushes. Now we can be like, oh, hey, Adelaide, we can just come over here and trade you like some of these now. And now she's got some of the raspberries. And it's like, oh, look, we've even got um, some of the other berries. Oh, look at that. We can just trade her like any kind of berry. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. There we go. But we can go ahead and give her all of the berries and the, and the vegetables that we have gathered from the gardens in with the deer, and she'll give us zookeeper experience points. So that's really useful. You can also give her a set of iron shears because she's always going through and pruning back the gardens and pruning back the bushes and the trees. And she'll give you a lot of zookeeper experience points for that because an extra set of iron shears goes a long way. And once you trade her the iron shears, that iron is gone forever. But then, because she is working on clearing away all of the bushes and the plants and the trees and everything, and for some reason the white-tailed deer exhibit just overgrows all of the time, then she will also trade you some of these really useful berry bushes. So these are the plant mega pack berry bushes that we can actually make the special berry powder out of. So let me see if I can show that to you guys again. I know I've shown it to you a lot lately, but I just want to glance at it again. This right here. So this is the berry powder. Normally you can use it as fertilizer and you can also go and trade it over to our elven gardener over at the lily area because she's trying to use it in her magic. And it's really hard to find these berry bushes in the wild. So now Adley will actually trade those berry bushes to us, which is very, very useful. And she will also trade what is now called the shiny log. And you guys know the shiny log. It is 
this glowstone log right here. There's glowstone hidden inside of it. It's a devincing log. It looks really awesome. It's probably, I know this sounds silly, but this is probably one of my, my proudest creations. It really is because I love being able to light areas up naturally without having a bazillion and a half torches everywhere. Just being able to make it look really nice like see the way the torch just looks kind of stray and then you look down here and you've got this awesome little glowing mushroom you've got this awesome little glowing log so now Adelaide finally has a place where you can trade for that shiny log just like you can also trade for the lily pads that we have as well so that's really good oh speaking of lily pads I guess we need to go get some lily pads I forgot about that so we can give them to Alex Jeez, oh man we need to do a trip visit pretty soon and then you can also get some boxwood shrubs from her which is another plant that we often need to use for decorative pieces and we just haven't had before so i'm actually going to go ahead and get some blackberry like a little blackberry bush that we'll plant back up at home i'm very excited because i love using these boxwood shrubs but they're hard to get our hands on because i use them everywhere so having like a gardener quote unquote who can trade them to us now is really fun and i like the idea of them just kind of being like cleared out of a an area and adelaide thus being able to give them to us so let's go ahead we're going to come on in all right puppies i'm going to close the gate all right watch out puppies lily all right all right there we go there we go all right i'm going to go ahead and clear some of these gardens out they do give some pretty interesting stuff too like what are you going to do with a brussels sprout how many of you guys like brussels sprouts i've tried them a couple times i'm not big on them i mean i'll eat them See, you don't even have roasted Brussels sprouts. Garden soup, Sunday roast, which requires Brussels sprouts, and a roast chicken and a roast potatoes. That would probably be one of the most filling meals that you could possibly make. Oh my goodness. Maybe we'll make that one day for like just celebratory purposes. Whoops. All right. And again, you don't want to destroy all of the gardens because you need to leave some of them to continue to propagate for the deer. But it's okay to come through and just kind of pick up as much as you can. The dogs are coming along to help. Um, Lily, did you just shove this little tiny fawn? Oh, the poor thing. It's just trying to hide in the grass. We'll just have to leave it be. But yeah, we've got a lot of lettuce, cauliflower, scallions, leeks, artichokes, spinach, broccoli. I don't think she'll actually accept all of these, but we can do our best. So we'll just come through. Hello, Lily girl or Tate. Hi, buddy. Are you guys all excited? They're like, mom, you're doing something fun. I love it when the, the dogs are just super excited to be with us. All right, let's see. There's Alia. She's being a dog of the bushes. She's making sure, you know, our back is guarded. Here is the lovely little waterfall. I need to come back over, maybe add more leaves up there so it's a little more enclosed. Or maybe a ladder. So there's another, well, there's another zookeeper entrance over here, actually. So probably not a ladder. I would prefer people using that zookeeper entrance than trying to, like, shimmy down the side of a cliff on a ladder. That just doesn't sound safe. In fact, I was actually reading how a zookeeper, and I forget which zoo, but it was in the news, a zookeeper fell into a gorilla exhibit and broke his leg. And that sounded extremely painful. And they just said that everything like was fine with the gorillas. The gorillas were just taken off exhibit because they're trained to leave an exhibit when people call them. So they got off exhibit and the poor zookeeper with the broken leg just kind of sat there until they managed to collect him. That must have really sucked. All right, so we gathered those up. All right, there we go. So we just gathered up a whole bunch of little garden pieces. Let's come over and see Adelaide. Because I totally forgot about trying to collect up enough light lilies that we can give Alex some of them as a gift. So this should be fun. And then we're just going to zip down here. We're going to ignore the fact apparently all of the berries <laughs> overlap. Oh my gosh. I think that's because they all have the same ore directory thing, which that's just, that's just mod talk in case you guys don't know what that means. All right. Apparently this counts too for veggies. Well, we're just going to ignore that. All right. Cabbage. Cabbage counts. So I'll do cabbage. Um, let's see. What else counts? Leeks do not count. Uh, lettuce counts. Cauliflower counts. Scallions count. Spinach counts. And Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts do count, but I'm out of Brussels sprouts. So let's see. Here's the lettuce. So I'll keep an eye on it. And as soon as we like run out of the, um, the spinach, then we'll stop collecting. <laughs> oh, oh, dang it. I got one extra. Well, that wasn't intentional. All right, there we go. So we just collected up quite a few pieces of zookeeper experience points. Thank you, Keeper Adelaide. And she actually has some fun things to say, too. You'd think the deer would eat fast enough, but the gardens just keep growing. Oh, hey, have a moment to help me haul away these branches. 
And, oh, the ears. I used to be the cougar keeper, but I'm helping with the white-tailed deer right now. And she'll actually have a lot of world lines, too, that she'll go ahead and say when you just happen to wander by her. So it's going to be really fun just to help her keep the deer exhibit nice and tidy. And it'll give us a reason to go into the deer exhibit more often. So let's come down over here. And let's actually go ahead and trade our zookeeper experience points. Oh, that's right. I need to add in like the, the half trades with the zookeeper experience points. So you do like 32 zookeeper experience points for a stack of coins. But we're going to trade these. And I'm going to go double check what it cost to get um, the lily pad lights. So let's go check out what it costs to get the lily pad lights. Because we want to buy a few of them to save for Alex as a gift. All right, good. All right, so let's go ahead. I think we'll do mostly the white ones so we can get a few of those. Um, I don't know if you would want, let's just do two of the, the pink ones. And then we can actually get like cups of coffee, apple cinnamon scones, those sound good. Raspberry trifle, candied rose scone, lily water tea, rose berry tea, blueberry muffins. Um, Maybe apple cinnamon scones, just to just to be like we have a new we have a new place that opened up. Lily water tea, maybe a lily water tea, maybe a roseberry thing. There we go, there we go. Now we have some presents to give them to. Awesome. All right, so let's head back up to the house. I'm going to store my presents somewhere safe so I don't forget them, and then we will check the mail and we will visit with the other new NPC who's actually back up by the house, and I'm very excited because it is some one of our our wonderful friends. So he donated, and it's Ben, and you guys are going to be excited to see Ben. Not our Ben, but like Ben Nash, and he's a really friendly guy in comments. He's been around for a very long time, and so it was very exciting to be able to add him to our world. So I'll show you guys him in just a second, and where he's hiding, and his tricks that are up his sleeve. Speaking of which, Sunflower, I just realized, I think I forgot to give him sleeves. I know. She's staring at me. She's like, what on earth do you mean? Forgot to give, give him sleeves. Dang it, I did. So now you guys are going to see, like, my, to my shame, that I think I forgot to give him sleeves. So that's embarrassing, because I even fixed the skin. And now I remember, I think I forgot to give poor Ben sleeves. So don't worry, Ben. You're going to have sleeves in the future. Just not right now. All right, let me go ahead and put some of these away really quickly, though. So we've got gravel. Oh, listen to everybody. It's the sounds of home. The sounds of home with all of the, the grunts of the pigmen and the squawks of the dodos. Ah, so good to be home. All right. Hang on, puppies. Hang on. I'm just putting this away really quickly. Do I have anything else I really want to leave down here right now? Eh, maybe the wood. I'll just chuck some of this wood in there. Oh, look, I have a little snail. So cool. Anything else? Not really. Uh, maybe the flint. The onyx shard. Now, hang on now. Can I do something cool with that? What? You can make axes with these? Onyx pickaxe, onyx axe, onyx sword. That's really cool. Onyx hoe, onyx shovel. I can polish it. I can polish it into an onyx gem. I like that. That's really cool. And then you can use it to make black chains. Oh, man, that's really neat. All right. I want to stick it in here. This is my little cut. Well, that's my cutting station. This is my gem polisher, and here's my onyx shards. Is it going to make me some gems? I want to see the gems! That would be so cool! Come on, gems! Onyx shard, and now... <gasps> onyx gems! Oh, that's so cool! I want to have a little gem collection. That would be a really fun little thing to have, because I'm kind of a sucker for pretty gems. I won't lie. Usually I like them in raw form, though. In fact, if you guys look through... um the vlogs from last year then when my parents and I went on our little vacation together I actually went to one of those like find your own gym sluicing tourist stations and it was so much fun we had a grand time we had a wonderful time and we cut mom's gym and I gave it to her as a birthday present on a little necklace all right so here we are primrose you're still accompanied by cake. Bluebell, I still need to fetch from the peafowl area. I know I said we were going to do a prank today, and it involves getting a bluebell and some of the stuff that she's got. But, oh gosh, today is already as busy as it is. So, okay, I'm going to put the little, little blackberry bush in the yard so it can start growing some blackberries. And we can go ahead and pick some of these things and some of these really quickly. And then give me just a second, Mail. So, Jude, you hang on. And the NPC is actually beyond Jude, which is going to be interesting. All right. And we'll gather these up. Good morning, Agent Noodles. Doing the noodle doodle dance, apparently. 
Oh, and I forgot to clean out Holly's inventory when we did our last doggy wash day. Everybody was like, what about poor Holly? Because I had forgotten little Holly. So we'll have to empty Holly's inventory of eggs and everything else and check on the egg situation from last week. I need to see what's going on with the Squicken. If more of my chickens have disappeared, because Guppy disappeared, Red Poppy disappeared. I need to get another one of my Rose Red chickens. It's quite, quite curious. Need to make sure everybody's okay. All right, we'll put that away, put this away, put this away, put these away. All right, there we go. I love the sorting chamber. Is this not just the best thing in the world? Then we're not saddled with all sorts of, like, things we need to sort. Sort anymore? I thought I heard a cry of, of pain from my puppies. Oh, I did! I did, Tate! Tate, hang in there! I'm sorry, I didn't realize so much time had passed. Lily, Lily, come! Alia, Alia, where are you? All right, there she goes. There she goes. All right, Alia's eating enough. Lily's eating enough. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm a bad doggy mom sometimes. All right, let's put all these away. In you go. In you go, food. I love not having to sort these. Thank you guys so much for, like, putting the fire under me and being like, Siri, do it. Siri, make a sorting chamber. It totally was worth it. You guys were totally right. All right, let's keep going on that. Good. And then, let's see, here's some more food and more food. Cherries, chestnuts, who even knows where I find half this stuff anymore? All right, candleberries that don't want to go together. Interesting. And here we go. Just fill all of this up. Let's see, those are leaves. That's not to eat. Here is the chestnut. Okay. All right, is that everything? I think that's about everything. Isn't that so nice that we can get that all sorted out so quickly? I'm going to go ahead and put the snail and the crab in here because I think we'll use those in the future. There's the horse mob. There's one of the two villagers. Why do we have three villagers? Oh, dear. <laughs> now I have too many villagers. How did I end up with someone? I don't remember why he's there. I, don't, I know that this is the one that I think had the diamond that we decided we wanted to see if we could keep him here. Oh, because he's, he's, um, this villager, let's go ahead and take him out. I'm pretty sure this guy is a tinker. Yeah, he's the tinker. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you're pretty cool. Copper ore berries. Oh, look at all the stuff he just dropped. Woo, thank you. He liked my dogs. Oh, gosh. Come here, sir. Come here. Come here. Please. Okay, okay, we got him. We got him. I always worry when they run off like that. He gave us a lot of raw pork chops. That's going to make my dogs really happy. But he is the tinker that we're working with. And then this guy, I think, is the one we got from Alex's place. The priest? Yeah, this is the priest we got from Alex's place. And, oh, wow. He's giving us some stuff, too. Thank you, sir. Wow, we're really rolling in, like, villager gifts. I guess they're glad because those those villagers all used to be um, zombies, so we cured them. But he actually, even though he has a bottle of enchanting, he is from Alex's place. So I think we need to take him back to Alex and let Alex decide what to do with him. If he wants to move into Zomberry Village, that's great. It's really cool because he has bottles of enchanting, which are always a fun thing to trade with the villagers. But if, if Alex wants to keep him, that's good too. I don't remember why I have this villager. Where are you with me? Oh, I was going to take you to the paleontology place. We haven't been to Relic Ruins in forever. There we go. Mysteries of the villagers solved. I feel better. All right, let's go ahead and sort through all of these plants really quickly. We're going to chuck them into our plant sorting chamber. And then I'm going to check my mail. Because, jeez, it's been busy. All right, here we go. And there's my, my little children, my little spider children I still need to put away. There's just always so much to do, you guys. Oh, my gosh. It's so fun. It's just so fun. All right, let's go ahead and put all those away. Do I have more plants? Not in there. I do in here. We'll just throw all of them in there. Oh, this is so nice. Having a sorting system is amazing. All right, we'll just throw this raw rubber in there because why not? All right, Alia. Let's go ahead and check on what mail I have gotten since last time we were visiting home because it's probably some pretty cool stuff. Oh, and there's just some onions on the ground. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so here we are. We're visiting with Jude. Jude, how are you today? I see I have mail. Let's go ahead and check out what it is. Ooh, look at that. And it's actually, oh my gosh. How are there this many jungle saplings? It takes me forever to get jungle saplings, even with, even with Glorious Grafter. Wow, and a bunch of bone meal. What's this about? This almost feels like a quest. You know what I mean? It almost feels like somebody is bestowing a little quest upon us. All right, well, let's back up and see what this is all about. For that prank. Is somebody watching me? 
Oh gosh. For that prank, huh? I, I, I didn't mention anything about my idea for that prank. I kind of have an idea now. I kind of, oh, this is, this is devious, you guys. I didn't say anything to anybody. I didn't even really know what the prank was going to be. It's like somebody has known my mind better than I do. Oh, gosh. Look at all these. So this is actually, this got, has me quite curious on what we should do. So what do you guys think we should do? I have been tasked, this kind of is like its own little quest, with a whole bunch of bone meal and a whole bunch of jungle saplings and told for that prank. So, I wonder what we should do with that. I, I feel like I need to live up to this now. Oh, there's Darling! And there, there we go. All right, that matter is settled. Oh, goodness. So that really, that's why I'm so quiet. I'm like, I wonder what I should do. I have an idea, though, and I kind of like it. So let's see. All right, so let's come over here. Is that everything? Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, hmm. Experiment 115. What is that? What is it made out of? How do you make this? Oh, dear. Oh, and it's from Ben. Intruder. Okay, what's this? White tiger, a big cow. Oh, he's got a white tiger in here. What? Siri, I found this specimen wandering into a cure the other day and thought it would make an excellent addition to your tiger pen, Ben. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Because we did lose Amber's mate. I don't know where the heck he went, but Amber's mate just wandered off and I haven't ever found him again. So it looks like Ben has graciously given us a white tiger that we can add into our tiger exhibit. So we'll have to go do that in a little bit too. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! Ah, oh, I need to leave more presents and gifts and things and notes and mail for all of our friends because this is just too fun. Just way too fun. All right, let's go ahead, eat a little bit more of the cheesecake. And now that I remember notes to our friends, I remember writing to Inasia because we have some issues. Oh gosh, now there's kiwi eggs involved. Oh my goodness. Where, what is experiment 115? I've learned not to eat food that Ben gives you though. So I'm just gonna casually not eat that. I'll, I'll put it some way. I should take it downstairs so that the lab assistants can like dig through it and try to find whatever hidden hidden issues it has. All right, we'll put all of these guys away. Come on, come on. I don't need everything cluttering me up. All right, and there we go. All right, so let's go ahead. I've got kiwi eggs in my pack now. Hello, omelet. All right, and there is our kiwi eggshell. Quill, 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 quill. Many quills, so many quills. Oh, and here's little Holly. Holly, there you are. Smog suffocated in a wall. No, my blaze chickens. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I will take care of that later, you guys. Do not worry. I almost released a white tiger by accident trying to pick Holly up here and move her. We don't want to do that either. But don't worry, I will take care of whatever's going on with our blaze chickens and we'll have to get more blaze rods pretty soon so that I can breed them. Omelette. I'm trying to count the omelettes. Pochi. Let's see. Carlos. Guppy. Guppy's still here. Guppy's still here. Eggshell. Carlos. Eggshell. 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 Carlos. Omelette. Pochi. Quill. And yeah, it looks like everything else is okay. So there's a lot of omelets and there's a lot of eggshells and there's a lot of Carloses and there's still quite a few quills. Have they multiplied again since last time? We've given away two quills. We still have four left. We'll have to see how many quills we end up with. Oh gosh, there's just so much going on. All right, let me see if I can find... I need to go get something to empty Holly's pack because we forgot to clean her pack out early in the week when we were doing that. Oh, darling! Mwah. All right, I need to build him a desk still. Oh, geez. And meanwhile, this is stuffed full of food that shouldn't be in here again. She is actually harvesting the peppercorns lately. That is really good. So Aki has finally turned her attentions towards, let's put these eggs away, towards our trees, which is really going to help us out. Okay, there we go. Lots to do, lots to do. All right, I need to go ahead. Hey, Alia. I need to go ahead and find some wood. I normally keep wood inside my little shed over here. So much going on, so much to do. This will do. All right, let's grab this. I have a kiwi egg, very exciting. And you guys also reminded me that last time we visited with Anasia, I forgot to leave the magpie eggs there with her. So I will definitely have to do that in the future. All right, there's our rutabagas. 
All right, let's come back in here and let us empty poor Holly's little pack and just pick up these eggs because they're everywhere. In fact, if I can just go ahead, this is full and it's full of ink sacks and eggs and more dodo eggs. Oh gosh, so many dodo eggs. I'm going to leave some of the pork chop in here and I want to let Holly roam around. She deserves to be on wander. She takes care of all of the chickens. All right, ink sacks are okay. All right, kiwi eggs are okay. Yeah, she's got this. Okay, good. There you go, Holly. So Holly can wander around. She can gather everything up. She can eat. She has a little bed as well. So she has a good time in here. She loves her birds and her chickens. So I'm glad to leave them with her. All right, or her with them, I should say. All right, there we go. Like I said, if I'm a little badly today, I apologize. I have a bad fever. All right, we'll go ahead and Tate, Alia, Lily bouncing in the ground there. Whew. All right, so that takes care of the male. That takes care of one of the two NPCs. That takes care of at least figuring out where the heck we're going to put the dock. And now we're going to go and meet the other NPC. So I'm very excited about this. Let's go ahead and meet him. I already told you guys who he is. Ben, Ben Nash in the comments. Very friendly, very sweet. And he actually wanted to have a little mound house that was near where the post office is, where our little post box right here is. And so I thought about it and I realized we live on a highland. There's plenty of room to be able to carve out a spot on a cliff and be able to have a little house inside of the highlands So that is what I made so let's come this way and this area now has a little pathway kind of peeking between the trees here And if you follow it, you can see it leads you up this nice little path along the direct side of the mountain So do be careful and you can come over and you see a pair of doors and a big giant oak tree That's sitting on top of these doors and you may go What's in here? So you go ahead and knock. And ta-da! Like I said, I forgot to give him sleeves, but that'll be fixed. I'm so sorry, Ben. And you come on into a little wonderland of so many plants and beautiful little fireplace and all sorts of cool little bugs and an adorable, beautiful chameleon named Milo. And so this is a little bit different than what Ben had in mind, but I think that it's absolutely fantastic because this is young Ben who really loves to play around in the dirt, loves to run around, loves to explore, and loves to gather up different bugs for his Milo for his little chameleon Milo to eat. He also loves blue flowers as well. And he has some little books. He's really made himself quite comfy. He really is quite avid at kind of digging in the dirt and exploring. So that combined with everything. Oh, that was pretty. Hello, little firefly. Means that he has run into quite a few insects and bugs in his time. In fact, if you look over at that back shelf, you can actually see there's a certain pixie hiding on his shelf. And even though his true passion is actually dealing with plants, he just has ended up like finding a lot of mystery bug eggs and he doesn't know what to do with them. So if we come and talk to Ben, then he actually sells a whole bunch of mystery bug eggs and he wanted to sell mystery nuts, but our mystery nuts are broken. Okay, I heard a dog cry, but it's okay now. Our mystery nets are actually broken in the mod, so they will only basically give you vanilla like animals and so I wanted to figure out a way to give some fun mystery animals and when the request for Milo the little chameleon came in I realized I know how to do it also Milo has a little divincing tree isn't it so cute isn't it so cute he has his own little tree stand and he just kind of hangs out there and watches everything it's really adorable I love it I love the fireplace back here too I got inspiration from that from uh, another person on the server I can't remember who I think it started to theme and now everyone's doing these fireplaces it was Alex it was Alex and the fireplace I think he built at Santa's Grotto, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure, could be wrong. Everybody uses it now and it looks awesome. But yeah, so if you come and talk to Ben, then because he's always going around searching for blue flowers, because he really loves flowers and loves blue flowers in particular, then he also stumbles on all of these mystery bug eggs. And I renamed the spawn eggs for the Mo Creatures bugs, like the ants, the snails, the bees, the butterflies, all of those guys. And I don't even know which one's which. And every now and then I'll come in and I'll just rearrange them. And if push comes to shove, I will even recolor them and put the recolored texture in the game so that we never know like what we're actually going to get from him. And I think that would be really fun to change the spawn egg colors because if you look it up, if you're trying to do something in creative, you always know what it is. But if you look it up, 
when you've got all the eggs looking the same and then you put the eggs together and they all have the same name of mystery bug you'd never know which bug you have and it would be really fun it's a gamble it's a little gamble that you could take to see if you're going to get something fun and i think that's really entertaining and we might try doing something like this in the future with other npcs as well but also for Ben, he does get tired from his adventures, so if you can bring him a good PB&J or a cherry smoothie, he'll give you some coins for it, and you can go ahead and trade those coins back to him in order to get some mystery bugs. But yes, so lots and lots of plants, and really good at just like digging, and so he made himself a nice little home right in the side of my cliff, and I have no problem with that. In a way, he's kind of like an advanced scout for what will one day be like a little pathway that can wind up and into the Village of Light, so I'm pretty excited about that. Let's go ahead. Do I have anything I can trade with him right now? Let's see what he's been saying. Hey there, are you here to see the mystery bug eggs I found? And he'll actually say a lot more. I really love blue flowers, so I collect a lot of them. And he will say more, just sometimes it won't show up. And he also does have some world uh, conversations where he'll just talk about how much he loves exploring and he'll talk about Milo. And I really hope, I really hope this is, this is a good fit. I really hope this is good. Other than the fact I need to give the poor, poor Ben Poor Ben needs some sleeves. I did fix that. I just need to fix it again. Oh, but look at this. I really like how it all came together. It's quite the nice little cozy room. And I just like how this whole big place is hidden away just around the corner. You just have to explore. And that's what I really want for Zudesia is that you really have to explore and kind of look in all the nooks and crannies and look for the details to be able to find where we have those kinds of things hidden. So I really love that. I love it, Alia. It's so much fun. It's just so much fun. All right, let's see. Oh gosh, it's been a busy day. Come on, Lily. Come on, guys. Everybody come on in. Whoops. All right, there we go. Everybody come on in. So let's see, today we have figured out kind of vaguely where we are going to put the dock. We have done a little teensy bit more work on working on the Tate and Tackle and figuring out where we're going to put everything. I have gathered up some sculptures and some gifts that we're going to be giving Alex in return for the amazing gifts that he's given us. I've come up with, um, I've been drafted apparently into some projects for what to do with the prank that I didn't even know about. We've gotten wonderful mail and gifts from our friends. Experiment 115. I have no idea what that is, but I do not trust Ben with food anymore because he normally poisons his food somehow. So we're not going to mess with that. We've got some more kiwi eggs. We've got some more dodo eggs. We have a ton more ink sacks. You know what? I will say this for, oh, there's another, is this a kiwi egg? Yep, another kiwi egg just laying around. I will say this for having so many quills. They do lay a lot of ink sacks, and that's quite useful. And actually, some of you guys have been suggesting starting perhaps a little shop like Quill's uh, Ink Pot or something like that, where we could sell ink sacks. What can you do with the ink sacks? And maybe everything that you could use ink sacks for, like clipboards, uh, workbenches. What else can you do with them? Wow, you can make some fancy workbenches. Wow, ethereal fancy workbench. Oh, that reminds me. There's actually some wands. Oh gosh, I haven't even begun to look into these, but there is some a really amazing wand. Is it wand of wonder? Wand of salvation. I don't remember what wand it is, but basically there is a wand where you can use it and you can actually turn monsters into trees. And we're going to have to do that. That's going to have to be something big. Maybe that'll be what we work on for like the 100th episode of season three, because that would be fantastic. Episode 100 so far away, though. Oh, but it's so close at the same time. So exciting. All right. What else can you do with ink? I'm just really curious all of a sudden. I can make a little blocks one, but that mod, even though it's installed, doesn't work. So boo. Chocopedia. We can make black stained clay and glass. Uh, oh, typewriters! We could have a quill shop and it like has a bunch of little typewriters. I forget if those typewriters are actually like something you can use. Oh my goodness, there's signals! I think that's for like a train mod we have. Iron tank walls, black colored glass, black backpacks, templates. Wow, you can do a lot with ink sacks. This is quite useful. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, small black stone bricks, black stone gravel. That could be really useful for future... Red Net Historian. These could be really useful. Reading glasses. I remember the reading glasses. It's been so long since we've seen them. Oh gosh. We could have like a little glasses shop where you could buy reading glasses. That would be so cute. Oh my goodness. So very cute. There's our cows. You know what? You know what? Let's go ahead. We're going to go and put the tiger down. 
in the tiger exhibit, but I also want to put the cows in the village of, or zombie area village. I almost said the village of light. We don't have the village of light yet, but I want to go ahead and put the two cows in Zomberry Village because I've been meaning to put Cowberry and Milky Way. Where's Milky Way? Cowberry, where's Milky Way? Milky Way? Where's Milky Way? Milky Way? Whoops. Milky Way? Milky Way the cow? Oh no! Did something untold happen to Milky Way? Oh no, this is all the more reason to take Cowberry to safety. Alright, so let's go take Cowberry to safety. I hope. I don't know where Milky Way went. Aww. I don't even remember how we ended up with Milky Way, but I've just enjoyed having the cows in the back corner of the yard. But let's go ahead and we're going to put Cowberry into Zomberry Village. And we're going to go and add the White Tiger. Yep, all the dogs are okay. We're going to go ahead and add the White Tiger in to the Tiger Exhibit. And then we will have had a very filling Saturday. Quite a bit done. Quite a bit to show off. Pretty awesome. Is that Junior? Is he, is he beginning to work with Junior? Oh, no, you just looked my... You look exactly like my son, but you're not my son. But you want some pork chops, huh? Huh. And some emeralds. Well, maybe one day we'll do some trades. Oh, look at her! She's taking up residence in this cute little house. Hello, ma'am. How are you? You give disposable batteries. Cassius cardboard boxes. Um, oh, seed bags for emeralds. I could probably work on that. Acacia log box for an emerald. So she'll actually give you acacia logs. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much. So I like seeing that she has set up shop in there. That's pretty cute. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and release this cow. All right, Cowberry, I wish you luck. I hope everything goes well. Junior the third, how are you doing? Oh, he seems to be doing well. Still wants to sell me some diamond leggings. So we'll have to look into that. All right, and here is... I need paper for this guy. Wow, I really need to build some more some more little shops in here because we've got so many different villagers now they need me to expand this place and i've actually been meaning to try to expand it further this direction so that they can continue to have like all of this little valley down here that was the original goal was to put all of those like houses all along this valley right up to where you have mushroom island and right up to where you have the little path up to the village of light which is right up or what will be the village of light, which I need to start building. At least we have the tree of illumination. I forgot about my statue. <laughs> I forgot I had a statue. Oh my gosh, that startled me anew. I've totally forgot about that. Really nice. Oh gosh. And then of course we have the Nymphia garden, which has grown tremendously and I need to take care of. Look at all those herbs. I'll have to take care of the herb garden. Oh, it would be really fun to start adding in NPCs who maybe can handle herbs, kind of like Bella does. But, you know, just different places, different ways that you could interact with them and different ways that you could go and get the, um, like, the healing potions from from them. So, you know, it's always fun to have multiple NBCs that sell the same item because they sell them in different ways. And it's really fun to interact with them. Like, maybe you prefer seeing a elf for your splash potions of healing rather than Bella, a chemist cat. You know what I mean? All right. Did I open this? Yeah, there we go. All right. And let's keep moving. So now we're going to go ahead and put away... I'm going to pick up my, my wayward host daughter. Oh gosh, here come the peafowl eggs. Bluebell, I know you're having a great time here. Hello, Keeper. Keeper Mitchy, how are you doing? I know you're having a wonderful time here, Bluebell. But this is really... It needs to come to an end. Do you understand? You have... She's on strike. <laughs> Bluebell, you're on strike because you have too many peafowl eggs in your inventory. Oh gosh. All right, let's go get her some sugar cane. I really need to take her home. She has been there too long and she is so over full of peafowl eggs. She doesn't even know it. Oh gosh, now I'm so hungry. All right, let's go ahead and collect some papaya. And then I need to grab my host daughter and it's been a busy day. We've been all over the place. All right, there. That's enough food to keep me moving for now. All right, let's go ahead and sugar cane. There we go. There we go. Come along here. There we go. Plenty of sugar cane. All right, and we'll turn all of this into sugar, and that should make Bluebell happy, and then she'll come home with us, and we'll be able to put the tiger away where the tiger belongs. There we go. All right, how are our reticulated rays? Oh, there they are. Look at them. Oh, can we see them better from the other side? Let's see if we can see them better from the other side. I love that bench. Love that bench. Look at them. Oh, our river rays are so cool. I like them. I like them. Oh, my goodness. There's just been so much going on. 
But I know there is so much to do visiting our friends, being able to pull those pranks, um, just interacting with the NPCs, building up gardens, building up more of the stells, building up more stands. So I would really love to, love to know what you guys would like to see more so that I can kind of get myself back on track because there's just been so much to do in the zoo. And I think I want to just focus on making the Tate and Tackle and if not perfecting it now, then at least getting it mostly done so we can get Dr. Nami in. Because I really want to get the fish so we can finish up that exhibit and at least have some progress on the animal exhibits. Oh goodness, so much going on. All right, Bluebell, time to go ahead, take away your peafowl eggs and give you some sugar. Can I, can I win you back over? Can I win you back over? Too many peafowl eggs? All right, let's try this. No, you're still on strike? Can I not convince you to love me? I have sugar. Oh, she's really mad. You know she's really mad if she's ignoring me when I have so much sugar. All right, so I'm going to have to work with her. Come here, Bluebell. I'm going to try to take her back home again, and we'll see if I have any success with that. All right, and let's go ahead. We'll put all of these peafowl eggs into the egg research center. Don't worry, I will get to the bottom of what the heck is going on with our blaze chicken. I have no idea how that happened. It's a tragedy. But some of you guys have been saying we should have an NPC that we could trade the blaze powder to in order to get a blaze rod, and that might be very helpful. All right, so, all right. Yeah, most of them seem okay. I just saw a couple of them jump up. So I'll see what that's about. Oh, it's Fluffy Mittens again! Fluffy Mittens, high five, buddy! You are so cool! All right, let's go ahead and we're going to... Oh, no, I'm out of food again. Eh. I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna have to eat the apple cinnamon scones that we were gonna give Alex. Sorry, Alex, I'll get you some more. Look at how cool this is. Just can't wait. Can't wait till it's full of fish. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, it looks so good. We worked so hard on that. All right. And now let's go ahead and we are going to put the white tiger into its exhibit. Whew, and that'll be the end of a very long, busy day here at the zoo. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Oh my goodness. All right, Amber. We're going to have to give your mate a new name. Maybe, maybe like some sort of cool tiger name that has, well, some sort of cool. Bluebell, you're not a white tiger. Bluebell, get back in. Get back in the safari net. No, get back in. Get back in the safari net right now, young lady. Bluebell. Bluebell, I was tired of not paying attention, and she just teleported away from me. She's not listening. I am not a good host mother. Oh, I should make sure Primrose has enough, enough sugar. All right, here we go. Introducing a new animal. So there is the white tiger, and I'm thinking maybe something like opal or moonstone or something that goes with amber, like as maybe a gem. Onyx? But Onyx is like, well, that could be Onyx is in like an ironic name because Onyx is black, like the black Onyx gems we just got today. But, you know, the tiger is white. So the white tiger is jumping around and Amber now has a new mate. So awesome. Maybe we'll have to come by. There he is. Maybe we'll have to come by in a little while and see if we can end up with some tiger cubs in the usual helpful way that you guys help us to breed our animals because that's always exciting to put that into your hands and see how many babies we end up with. Whew. <sighs> All right, guys, so much done in the zoo today. So many amazing new NPCs. We're really bringing our entire world to life thanks to you guys. So thank you so much once again to all of you amazing people who have helped to support myself and Zoodesia through your donations and just through your kindness, your views, just the community, your curiosity, your suggestions, the Tate and Tackle. Like I was saying, this place wouldn't be what it is without your ideas and suggestions. So I love to hear more. I need to make sure my dogs will stop trying to jump into the tiger exhibit. And I will see you all tomorrow for some more adventures here in the zoo. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.